Hey everyone, another equipment autopsy. Um, <clears throat> this one is rather interesting, at least I think it is. Um, it's not a motor. It's a it's an Electrolux, made by Electrolux. Let's see if I can focus this. Made by Electrolux. Uh, it's called a Synchro Transmitter. And made in 1943. 115 volts, 60 cycles, AC. And it's, it's in pretty bad shape. You can... You can hear the bearings. Yeah, if I have actually already had this apart and I've cleaned it, but you can, if you look carefully here, yeah, there's a lot of play in that front bearing. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take a bunch of these screws out and um, give you all a look inside. All right. I'll show you in the back of it first. So underneath this panel here, held on just by three screws, is you've got some um, connections to the to the rotor part of this. So one connection here, just spring loaded, and a second one underneath. This this is very similar to that um, weird motor in. Uh, a video I did a few years back um, that had very similar points like this. Very small, very, um, you know, they're not like carbon brushes or anything like that. Um, I can't remember which video it is, but those of you that saw the video will know we should remember what I'm talking about. Um, so other than that, you've got, and you've got three other connections here with wires going down underneath into the the core of this thing. So I'll next pop the top off it. I've already taken the screws out of that. Now if I remember this should just or does it? There we go. So this is your this is your rotor, and you can see your ball bearings there. They are in really bad shape. You can see there's actually some yeah, there's actually some flat spots on them. They are severely worn. But yeah, this is so. This is your in, in the front bearings are are completely fucked as well. I'm pretty sure I had this off. I can't remember if this was threaded or if it was pressed on or or what. I don't recall. There's a pin in there. I think the pin just goes right through it, but I just see no reason I really need to take it out. There's nothing else under there. So that's your router. And here's your stator. So there's not really too much to see. It's similar design to an actual motor, but Putting power to this will not make it actually rotate. It's not designed to rotate. As to how, as to why this is like a synchro transmitter, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if you can read the serial number on that. In case you can't, it's two zero five four three six. Yeah. Anyone that wanted to look up information on that, by all means, maybe you can give me some more information on it. 
So yeah, there's not really much else to it. I can't take the back off because of the three soldered wire connections. They just basically, you can see them down there. They just basically come up and, and go to the, the stator here. This is kind kind of resembles like um, a car um, alternator in a way, or not a, maybe not a car alternator, maybe like a um, like one of those gas powered generators that could puts out like, 120 volts AC or 240 volts AC. I might have some ball bearings I can use to replace this, but I don't expect really to get very far with it. If I do, maybe I'll do a second video on it and show you guys what kind of power I can put out. But even if I could get it to generate power, I don't think I don't think these little uh, these little flimsy connections on top here will be able to handle much amperage. Maybe an amp, maybe two, but other than that, I seriously doubt it. You need proper brushes to be rubbing against here to get some proper amperage off it. So um, that that's it for the synchro transmitter. Uh, subscribe, hit the like, hit the dislike. You know the routine. Um, thanks for watching.